I'm declaring God's Calvary greetings to you as warriors in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I appreciate you joining me on this Healing Stream Prayer Watch program. So the title or the theme that I want us to consider in this short-term prayer bonanza is the waiting had been done. Say the waiting had been done. The waiting had been done. And it has been done thoroughly, patiently through the 40 days of earnest prayer. And surely God is answering it now. And so it's important that we begin to look forward for our signs wonders and miracles say amen to that amen. and so we are now in the area of science wonders and miracles enterprise because what is not revealed is now being revealed and so it's very very important for you to understand that aspect of your life and I believe that because the gospel is not being preached, that is why we see uselessness. But the Bible says they went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord working with them. Mark 16, 20. He says they went out. Say they went out. They went out. And then they preached. And then when they preached, God worked with them. Amen. Amen. And so, beloved, God acted when the early Christians acted. When you act, God will act. Say amen to that. Amen. And so, revival could come and save a lot of trouble. The reason why we have a lot of troubles in the church is because there is no revival in the church. Wherever there is revival, people's problems and troubles will fade away like shadows. So brothers and sisters, as one preacher man said, the acts of the apostles was written because the apostles acted. Say the apostles acted. The apostles. So it's time for us to act now. Say I am acting now. Say it is now time. It is now time for me to act. For me to act. Now the reason why we continue to be attacked in dreams is that you haven't learned to prophetically decree and declare. You have to learn to decree and declare. If you don't know how to decree and declare, you never take territories. Territories are taken when commanders decree and declare. If in nations, presidents, uh, empress decree, they will, they, will, they will sign decrees and things will start happening. And that is what exactly we are doing right now so it's not time for aggressive evangelism and prayer evangelism revival without aggressive evangelism makes the church a sending out firebrand discipleship church else will be what sitting in the pew warm Christianity church or as someone said armchair elders and pastors thinking about how to raise money for the upkeep of the church. But a firebrand church ready for the first ripe wheat of aggressive evangelism in which the gospel is preached and thousands will be convicted by the Holy Spirit and thousands will run forward to respond to the call of God's salvation. Not only that, and that the mighty wave of the Holy Spirit power and with fire will bring a mass baptism in the Holy Spirit accompanied by many healing miracles. That is what the church need today. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God. Lord God. Flood the continents. Flood the continents. Of the whole world, of the whole world, with the blood of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus, the entire African continent, the entire African continent, the entire continent of North and South America. 
entire continent of Asia and Australia. Lord, we prophesy. Lord, we prophesy that in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus these continents, these continents will, be the Jesus, will be washed in the blood of Jesus. From country to country. From country to country. I want you to pray right now that all these continents and countries will be submerged into the blood of Jesus. Begin to pray. I hear the Lord saying that I'm sending a post-COVID era revival Christianity. He says, I'm sending it into the nation. He says, some of the nation. He says, I am bringing them a new beginning. He says, most of the governments are receiving new beginnings. Most families and churches are receiving new beginnings. Pray for a new beginning for the churches and every denominational head that has happened in Genesis chapter 1, God will step into their chaos and empty lives to restore them and bring order into their lives so that these denominational institutions will receive revival. Begin to prophesy now in Jesus. Amen. I have a very big God, though. He is always by my side. A very big God. to pull the revival trigger and get people into not only the casting of demons but after they've been set free we have to pray that God will disciple them and then God will give them that authority that he gave them when he died and then rose again. So we are going to pray that God will release his authority onto those people whom God saved recently, who people who God is discipling, that after they've been set free, I don't care wherever they are in the world, what we are praying is that God will give them dominion authority to overcome Come every devilish activity that the enemy will raise up against them. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. We're also praying right now that. Today we are experiencing, a lot of the churches are experiencing witchcraft 
occultism and evil because of the because of that i believe that the gospel is not vital the preaching of the gospel is not vital more than any other time it's so vital as a gun in a snake pit so the devil is on the run especially when jesus begins to set the captives free so we are going to pray in the name of jesus that people and nation will be released from the clutches of the evil one and then the power of god will break the chains and set them free and then break them into the church and then god will prepare them for the next revival that god is preparing to unleash onto the nations let's pray father in the name of Amen. Amen. Almighty God, I say, Almighty, Almighty God, all the nation shall praise your name. All the nation shall praise, shall praise your name. The walls, the demonic walls around nations, the demonic walls around countries, the demonic walls around families, churches, will be brought down in the name of Jesus. Even when people are worshiping and praying God, may God use these praises and worship to bring down these demonic walls. Even those in your churches begin to pray. <laughs> Father, and God. Amen. Amen. We are also praying that every demonic war that the enemy is attempting to set up ahead of you. Now we have already entered on the path of righteousness. The great shepherd of the sheep is leading us. But the Bible also tells us we have to be mindful of the schemes of the evil one. So we are praying that any hidden agenda of the enemy ahead of you during this 2023 journey, that the presence of God will knock all those demonic barriers and that you walk through, you walk through with such liberty, we we'll walk through with such victory, begin your prayer. <laughs> Father, <laughs> We pray, say amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we praise you for the victory that is won right now over the nations, over continents, over families, over churches. And our Lord will raise high the banner of victory. You are Jehovah Nissi. We give you all the glory. 
We give you all the praise. Let us say, say, amen. amen.